Okay, so what we got here, buddy? A Corvette ZR1. Okay, that's what's up. Say, what's up, YouTube? I got the Corvette ZR1. What's up, YouTube? What are we gonna do? Unbox it. Uh, say it. We're gonna unbox this. All right, give me a high five, buddy. Let's go unbox it. You know what to do. What? I'm going to I'm I'm going to cut the tape for you, and you're going to open it and take it out. Go ahead. Unbox it, buddy. Now, buddy, I think you got to take this box out here, right yeah, here first. You got to take the whole thing. You got to open these flaps. See that? Oh, look. What's that? It says instructions. The what? These are all the instructions. These are the instructions. Perfect. Okay. Just like Daddy does. It's really hard. Is it? Yes. There you go. There you what? Go. It's more tape? Okay, there's, there's more stuff in there, buddy. There's more stuff. Turn it upside down. See if it just falls out. Shake it. That no? one is all coming out. It's almost there, buddy. It's almost there. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Cones. I don't know. A, a pieces? Those are pieces. Extra parts. Extra. What does that look like? <gasps> what? what is that? Is the controller. How else are we going to drive this awesome yellow Corvette ZR1 yes. without a controller, guys? Yeah. Let's so let's open this. Let's see what it looks like. Take it out the bubble wrap. Nice and carefully. Oh, nice. It has a controller. Look at that. All right. So That's now we got to take that out. And look at what we have. Look at that, guys. Daddy, the <laughs> instructions. Wow, those are those are drift tires. Look at that. Daddy, focus. Over here. Hey, okay, you hold it. Okay. So what we got there? Show it off. Corvette. Yellow Corvette Z01. Man, that thing looks clean, bro. Yeah, it does. It? Man, let me see the back. Ooh, wait, look at that. Ooh. son to the hobby shop today and he wanted this car I know why he loves Corvettes that's the reason why he wanted this car but I had to do a review because I, I you know I bought this car for almost 200 bucks right about 180 with tax and wifey bought me this car for about 60 bucks and I gotta say, I, I had to make a review because I haven't, I've, I've got this one last year, sometime in the summertime, early summer, and I, I drove it one time, never drove it again. I thought it was pretty awesome and I didn't want to destroy it. And I put it up, I forgot about it. And so my son got in tune with this one today and I, we brought it home, we charged it up. Well, we didn't even charge it up. We just smacked some batteries in there which was discouraging. And for the price, it just doesn't go as fast, really. Um, I was expecting a lot from this car. And uh, the only thing that I like right now is that the lights turn on. <laughs> and you can actually control it from the... From the but anyways, that's, that's pretty cool. It doesn't go as fast as I would like it to go. Um, this thing, on the other hand, this thing, I want to say it does like 20-something miles an hour. This does about 10. 
I want to say no more than 13 miles an hour this thing. But my son loves it. He mm. loves this car. Yeah, you add a one and you add a three and that makes the number 13. Yeah, it does. I mean, the servo for the most part works good. Got a lot of power in the servo. Um, you can peel off. Uh, let me see. Let's go over the pros of this real quick. The body is sturdy as hell. I mean, that's that's a great body right there. And you flip it, you flip it up on both sides, and out comes the car. And there goes the chassis. <clears throat> um, it doesn't have a uh, gyro, but you can install one. I was reading the manual, and you open this area right here, and you plug it into this this uh, slot, this right there, and you have gyro. But with the force that it has on, a, on four AAA batteries, I don't, I don't think you need a gyro really. It doesn't go as fast as it should. I thought, well, I mean, it doesn't go as fast as I would have liked it to go. It's got little front suspension. The rear suspension is on the top, as you can see, um, which is cool. Um, the front has a little suspension bar that I don't, I don't, I wouldn't call it, but you have a gap there, which comes up. I don't know if you guys can see that well in my camera. But yeah, and of course the chassis is all plastic. Like I said before, is all plastic. Overall, it's a cool car. For the price, I could get probably three of these. And these things are man, I didn't, I did, I didn't really do the review on this one. Um, but months later, I can do it now. And this thing is a beast for the size. This, this little machinery is like, I didn't know how popular it was. I was just like, hey, buy one of those, babe. I would like to see it run. And we bought it and we ran it. We was happy. And it, it, was, it was one of a kind for us. It was really one of a kind. To me, it was a different kind of RC car for me. It was, okay. I was like, okay, I could drift them in my own house. Yeah, we could do that because having a house you have to have a big house or indoors say hi youtube hi youtube so yeah pretty overall um for this for this kind of price i get that it's you're paying for the name at that point because come on let's let's be for real like really <laughs> like, like really that's the only thing that i think it's it's real on this thing no, not even the uh, Ford sign. I don't know if you guys, my GoPro can't focus, but yeah, like, I get it, you know? I, I truthfully get it. Well, that's my review on the Kyosho Mini Z, yellow Corvette. Hope you guys like.